My name's Johnny. Hey, how's it going, Joker fam? It's your boy, Haha Joker, aka the Black Joker, back at it again. The Mad Baby for you guys. And today, as you guys know, ULs have officially dropped, and we got a lot of things to go over, man. This video is gonna be kind of long winded, but I'm gonna get some of the talking way out right now, and then obviously, we're gonna get into MJD stats, and of course, get you guys gameplay. But Number one B, if you guys are still playing this game, still trying to get the most out of content, these true champion fantasy packs, to me, definitely worth the pickup if you are still spending money on the game. I personally, if you, you should not be spending money on this game right now, but if you guys are still playing it, trying to be comp, trying to complete the season pass, which I'm gonna get into that in a second, this is definitely the packs you're gonna need to buy for sure. You get the most amount for what you're paying for, for sure. Now, the season pass. Now, this is the reason why I have somewhat came back to this game. As some of you guys know, I am back to streaming for Weekend League and things of that nature until I see in stores something that I need to see for me to stop playing this game. Now, EA Sports has decided to make season five pretty much almost all about Madden 24 as far as content going from like rookie premieres from this year into Madden 24. I do not know if they're going to drop packs in this game that you can just, all right, $100, bam, I'm done for the year. I don't have to worry about rookie premieres, everything's getting transferred over into Madden 24. I'm good, $100, bam, that's it. Keep this in mind, I would much rather that than to play this game out, you know what I'm saying? But as it is, I don't know how EA is gonna move, because EA does move weird, we all know this. So I don't know if EA is gonna put these kind of packs out or if it's just everything's gonna be done through the season five pass. Pretty much essentially, you have to complete the season five pass to get the max amount of content going into Madden 24. I don't know if they're gonna do that or not, but I am going to game plan for that just in case. But. I'm still gonna be playing um, weekend league, doing seasons. I'm I'm back to the grind because EA's making me. So there it is. Now, Joker fam, getting into MJD stats. Also, before we get into that, if you guys enjoy this type of content, man, make sure you guys drop some likes on that like button and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel, man. It's free. It only takes one second. With that being said, MJD comes in at five foot seven, 99 speed, 99 acceleration, 99 agility, 95 carrying, 91 catch, 99 change of direction, 88 truck, and a 96 break tackle. Now, as you guys know, MJD is one of my favorite cards in this game. All right, it's something about having a five foot set, like oh, probably not even probably, he will be the smallest player on this field, on anybody's field, without a doubt. But it's something about him running around, just mushing people, outrunning people, running them over, just just dog walking people, being at five foot seven. I absolutely love this car. Doing muscle hamster things before there was even a muscle hamster. You feel me? And I, I really do hope, I kind of hope that this year, but since we already know AKAs are gonna be in the game next year, I do hope they bring Doug Martin into the game, AKA muscle hamster into the game. That, that would be dope. But either way, MJD is one of my favorite running backs in this game by far, but he's probably not going to be worth the pickup over Cordell Patterson, Flash, or Eric Dickerson with his X Factor. Now, here's the thing. For some of you who might not use an X Factor running back, which obviously is highly recommended, but for me, if I did it, MJD would be the perfect back for me. You know what I'm saying? Because he does get two abilities for the same amount of AP that obviously Eric Dickerson would or Cordero Patterson would with the one AP on the uh, X Factor. So MJD, I have reach for it in short and elite. He does get backfield master on him and stuff like that. But again, we don't need backfield master because as you guys can see, we got golden ticket Lamar Jackson. It was going for pretty cheap. So we picked him up, hot route master. Um, be honest with you, I kind of forgot the other um, abilities we have on him but um we'll go ahead and check this out real quick but mjd since he doesn't get all these the x factor and stuff like that to me these are like backfield master is good in its own way but if you already have a quarterback with hot rod master you don't need backfield um backfield master so we have hot rod master pass lead elite fearless and gunslinger all for two ap of lamar jackson 
If you're going to upgrade your quarterback, get a golden ticket quarterback, all right? Don't go from Ken Stabler to Derek Carr or something like, don't do not do that. Just go go to the top of the food chain. Get yourself a Lamar, get yourself a Anthony Richardson, whatever quarterback gets you your abilities you want for cheap, all right? Just go for those. Now, back to MJD. Short in, reach for it. To me, these are the best ability combinations for him because the rest, because he is an elusive back, obviously. But for a zero AP evasive, I'm on um, conservative, so that's not going to do me much good. Leaf Frog's not good. conservative. Human joystick, I don't think human joystick's that great. If you got stick, you don't need to. You don't need a human joystick, in my personal opinion. Back foot master again, only useful if you don't have hot round master on your quarterback. So short end to me is the best zero AP ability. The rest of these are going to be the same throughout except for the last box. But again, jukebox, spin cycle, all of these things that require you to not be on conservative ball carrying, they don't help me because I'm on conservative. So the only thing I would have to go for is either reach for it, balance beam I haven't really seen do too much throughout this year. So that's it. So reach for it was my second option. And also real quick, showing you guys off the defense, no fly zone, no real changes. Um, we went ahead and replaced Rod Woodson with his Redux, and that's really about it. There's no other real changes here. As you guys can see, we are 55 out of 50 on Raider Kim. Also, MJD does not get um, two Raider Kim spots. It's only for Jacksonville. So keep that in mind. MJD does not get times two on Raider Kim. But now that we got all that out the way, man, we're going to go ahead and jump into some gameplay, man. We're going to see how MJD does. I, mean, I imagine he'll be he'll be a beast. And we're going to see if we can make the argument that we can possibly use him over Eric Dickerson. Let's find out. See how boys in there. All right, Joker fam. So we found ourselves a game. Got Aaron Rodgers, Lamar Jackson, and Jack Campbell. Okay, I don't know why people have two running backs in the top. Whatever. Either way, there go our Raider boys. So... Let's get into it. All right, Joker fam. So, starting on offense first, man. Let's see what we can get going. At As it is, man, I've already played a few games with Lamar. On, um, oh, my Lord. Why is John Madden in my backfield that quick? Ain't this DB fire? I like that. I'll take, a, I'll take that run. So, this is going to be perfect for us because we can literally just keep spamming run plays. Till I get bored. Because if you're going to stay in DB Fire, I'm not passing against this. All right, there we go. Finally, out of DB Fire. All right, so let's see if we can do some other stuff. And yes, we can. This is what happens when you just sit and spam DB Fire all day. And you have nothing else to go to. Stuff like that happens to you. Easy. All right, easy money. We'll take that. We'll take that too. Cool. Yeah. That, that's crazy, man. When your DB fire don't work, you just, eh, you know, I'm going to quit out. All right, Joker fam. So we found ourselves another game. Hopefully this one uh, doesn't go as... Wow. I mean, I guess that's really all that's playing this game now. That's not very surprising. All right. Well, starting out on... Hey, man. That boy got, uh, got Brown at quarterback. I respect it. We're starting out no fly zone first, man. I, if I had to guess, we're probably gonna end up getting three gameplays in today. A few moments later. Moss, you can't keep up with Edmonds. Do you not have enough speed? What, what's going on? Dog, this is what I'm talking about with this game, bro. How, how is 99 speed, 99 man coverage, Randy Moss not keeping up with Edmonds, bro? How is he getting that throw off? What is happening right now, EA Sports? But wait, there's more. All right, please let this be a quick game. They're, they're better not. Moss better not get routed up by Tremaine Edmonds. Uh, there better not be any more foolish. If he catches this, I'm quitting now. Mm. GG's. He deserves it. Bet that up. Yeah, good game, bro. You deserve that one. <laughs> Real talk, I might need to consider getting rid of Moss after what I just saw. Corner Moss might have to go. 
If, if I and I got the room for it, actually, I, I might I might think about it. I real I real talk, he might be gone. Brandon Moss golden ticket just got done in by a tight end, who I don't know what his overall speed is, but it can't be any better than golden ticket Randy Moss. Got done in by a tight end and got done in by Calvin. Like with deep route knockout on. So, like let me let me make sure right. Yeah, deep route acrobat pick artist all that on. He can't get a breakup. He can't go for a pick. Nothing. Just got got nut sacks on the top of his helmet. So low key, I don't. I, I think I might have to. And and I want to all Raiders no fly zone. I really do. But like, bro, I'm 55 out of 50. Like, I, I got space. You know what I'm saying? I can make moves. And I might need to consider it. Cause this is that that was terrible. This is why I stopped playing this game. And the fact that like mentally I have to go back into playing this game a lot now to finish the season pass out. I'm dreading it. I'm absolutely dreading it. All right, y'all. On offense, man. Man, oh man. This game, bro. Yep. Yep. Hey. MJD. First touchdown gameplay. I'll take you. All right. Well, back on no fly zone. Can't really call it that when we got Randy Moss going ticket on our team. It's pretty much just focus on Randy Moss and you'll you'll get success. You'll complete passes. Yep, there it is. Look, my dog Moss. Getting done in every which way. Moss, yeah, yeah, Moss off the team, bro. He's gone, man. He's gone. He's out of here, bro. He is so out of here. I'm waiting. I'm waiting again. I'm, I'm giving it. I'm giving it another strike. That's it. I'm not even waiting for three. Two strikes, and I'm out of this game. That's gonna be the gameplay. I'm giving it one more time. This Randy Moss card is the most overrated card I've ever, I've ever seen. Let's, oh my god, MJD. This is what I like to see, bro. This is what I like to see, man. Oh my god. Why can't I? <laughs> oh my god. I can't make any adjustments. I'm spamming buttons to try to get my... My play art up so I can make adjustments. And I can't do it. You know, I'll call hike like at any point in time. My god. Yeah. Can't make a breakup. Can't make a play on the ball. Got Acrobat on. Maybe I'm tripping. Does he not have Acrobat on? No, he definitely has Acrobat on. Yeah, I'm glad that curl route worked out so well. Six foot four corner just can't jump in front of the ball. Cool. That's the read. Yep, deep corner out. Yeah, I like to see it. Yes, sir. Hot and, hot and, hot and so hot. Hmm. There's a to throw. I really do wish I could express how much fun I'm not having. Words can't, don't do it justice. Words just don't do it justice. Of course he clicks off. Of course he clicks off. I don't know why I even threw that. I thought I had, I, I, I must have messed up the audibles. I, I'm so... All right, well, fourth quarter, which is good because there's nothing but good news out of this, you know, because I'm almost done playing this. So, glass half full, you know.
Gronk, are you serious? Wow, Gronk. All right, Joker fam. So that's gonna be a gameplay. As you guys can see, this is why I stopped playing this game, bro. Um, you guys have just again. I don't know what overall that Calvin was, but. Just out here, just doing it, Randy Moss. Randy Moss is just getting done in regardless. It, it makes it difficult to want to keep playing this game. You see things like that. Because am I expecting Randy Moss to lock down every single person that gets a ball or gets, gets the ball thrown at him and everything like that? No, of course not. But if he were, and again, it shouldn't happen. But if he was to just get beat, just straight up, okay, fine. But he's giving up touchdowns when he's right there to have deep route knockout proc. For whatever reason, I believe Acrobat proc instead because he dove and gave up a touchdown. The other game where we were playing against some low level overall player Calvin Johnson just put his whole sack on his helmet. So I I, I really do hope EA, and this is gonna be the first time I've ever said this, but I hope EA is money hungry as hell at this point. Because I would much rather pay a hundred dollars to be done with this game for rookie premiere packs and stuff like that, I would rather pay $100 than to play your game anymore at EA Sports. I'll be honest with you. I would pay money to stop playing your product. That That's just get me on into the next year's content, bro. I would pay money to stop. Please stop having me play your season pass, play this game out to get content for next year. Please stop. Just, just let me pay my way out so I cannot play your product anymore. Please, EA Sports, do that for me. <sighs> Randy Moss, I don't know what I'm gonna do with him. I don't. Y'all let me know in the comment section below what y'all think. Because I've seen from Weekend League, which I didn't even know this was a thing, I've seen players have X-Factor abilities. Like, I think Joey Porter has universal coverage as an ability. I'll take that. You know what I'm saying? I will take that 110%. So, y'all let me know. Y'all let me know what y'all think I should do with Moss. Y'all let me know your thoughts and opinions on that. And I know this ain't real. This is not a, this gameplay is not about Randy Moss, but he he stole the show. Not in a good way either. He he stole the show. But MJD 200 yards rushing. He balled out the the last game. Obviously, we didn't get much of him in the first or whatever other games we pretty much he got everything done in the last game is he worth the pickup i don't think so still um again i'm still going to stick with it you know mjd is still going to be my favorite player in this game 110 percent but fact of the matter is you, you can't beat an x factor man you know what i'm saying you can't beat a running back that gets an x factor built in for one ap there's not a single ability in this game that's going to outdo that. So that's my two cents. If you guys got Cordero, even if you have Cordero Patterson and you can't get Derek or Derek Henry, if you can't get Eric Dickerson and you still got Cordero, I would much rather take Cordero Patterson over MJD. That's just my opinion. You guys let me know in the comment section below. But that being said, man, if you guys enjoyed this video, man, make sure you guys drop some likes on the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, man. It's free. Only takes one second. With that being said, catch you guys next one. All right. Peace.